Dr. Nuremberg's Mind Body Workout System. Welcome, 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 my dear brothers and sisters. It's a pleasure, a privilege, an honor to be in your presence, to have this opportunity to reach deep within myself and share with you very valuable information for your upliftment and mine as well. So I'm truly grateful to those of you here in the room, those watching on DVD and those listening on CD. Thank you. The title of today's lecture is Injuries of Joints, Tendons, Ligaments, and Muscles. Injuries of Joints, Tendons, Ligaments, and Muscles. Prevention and Healing. Prevention and Healing. You know, most of what we have in life we take for granted. God's given us so many gifts, you know, vision of walking, of, of loving. And until we lose it or are about to lose it, we tend to take it for granted, unfortunately. And I would say one of the most taken for granted uh, organs of the body are our joints. Our joints, our tendons and ligaments. I mean, probably nobody ever thinks about it. If a person was to give a list of all they're thankful for, say, well, I'm thankful for my children, my spouse, my parents, thankful I can see, I can walk, which is basically saying they're thankful for their musculature, whatever. Uh, and they would give a list, you know, thankful I have a house over my head, I can eat. But very few people would, would include in that list, I'm thankful that my joints, that I have good joints, that I have joints, period. I don't, think, I don't think anybody would have named it. That's how taken for granted a very underappreciated organ of the body, really underappreciated until, until something goes wrong. You have arthritis, which we're not going to deal with today, but you get an injury, an injury due to your work, an injury related to uh, uh, exercise. Then you start, oh, my God, this is killing me. I didn't even know there was this kind of pain. You know. and then, then you start, and then when it, you get it healed up, you're thankful for maybe, you know, an hour or two, whatever, a day, and then you're off again, and, and you would forget to name it in a list. It's, it's that much taken for granted. So we're going to talk about the anatomy of the, the, the joints, the tendons and ligaments. Uh, we're going to talk about the mental attitude towards it. We're going to talk about the treatment in terms of internal treatment, external treatment, exercise to deal with them, infl how to deal with inflammation. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the muscle versus joint issues. Sometimes you don't know which one it is. Is it my joint? Is it my muscle? What's going on? So that's what we'll be talking about today. And to begin with, uh, the joint uh, is, has uh, uh, made of cartilage, and it has uh, synovium and synovial fluid. The, the fluid in there helps lubricate the bones and it cushions everything so the bones aren't just rubbing on each other. Synovial fluid. So you're actually creating a fluid in your joints. You have the synovium, you have your cartilage. And your tendons join, are actually joining the muscles to the bones, and your ligaments join the bone to the bones. So there's a little nomenclature for you. Cartilage, synovium, synovial fluid, tendons joining bones to muscle, and ligaments joining muscle to muscle. Take a little moment. Absorb that because you probably never had that clarified. You probably didn't even know there was, a, besides cartilage, a synovium and synovial fluid. I mean, it's that w much uh, lack of education about our joints and our tendons and our ligaments. And yet, we use them all the time. When you're walking, your knees are bending, your ankles are bending. You're moving, you're lifting things, you're bending your elbows, moving your shoulders, turning your hips. Those are all joints, and the different kinds of joints. For instance, your knees and your elbows, so you just go kind of one way, and same with your knees, those are hinge joints. Each one has a different physics. That's a hinge joint. The neck, which I can go this way, this way, like that, it's a pivot joint. It's a different mechanical structure. A lipsoidal joint is like the wrist, a lipsoidal. It's a different kind of joint. And then the shoulders and the hips are ball and socket. They are ball and socket rotating on itself. So there's four types of joints in terms of the physics. And I know you didn't know that. There's no doubt about it as I'm looking at each of you, even those of you watching on DVD or listening on CD. I know you didn't know it. I don't even have to ask you. Did you know that? You didn't know it. 
<laughs> I've been, you know, I'm 72 years old. I've always had a love of biology and physiology. I, I'd only recently started really delving into this. And even the, the structure in terms of cartilage, synovium, synovial fluid, uh, it's new for myself. Now, I'm a world champion bodybuilder and powerlifter, so I've had to learn about uh, these injuries. So I'm not talking about chronic inflammation of the joints where you have rheumatoid arthritis. That's a chronic inflammation. We're going to confine our talk today to acute inflammations where you get, you hurt yourself and then you're in a healing process.